Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I watched a few videos and I was on a live stream this morning. It was like, I think the live stream started at 8 o'clock and I got there probably a minute after it started, which is pretty good for me because usually I find them when they're, they've been on for a good half an hour. But the live stream that I was on was Danny Happy Farms, Louisiana. She is a teacher. I don't know what it's. Is she uh, Vit Vitke? I don't know. I don't know. I won't say the. She's uh, she's a teacher, <laughs> an online <laughs> teacher for the kids. I believe in China. But anyways, while I was watching her, I put a load of what? Well, I listened to because I I turned the TV up really loud. My poor dog. Good thing my dog is going deaf because. You can't hear half the stuff I, I do. But anyways, I Chromecasted her, cast Danny's live, and I had her downstairs here for a while. Then I went upstairs and gathered some clothes because I wanted to put some clothes in the washer, which they're still in the washer. Come to think of it, mm -hmm. oh, this was this morning, and I got to put them in the dryer. Otherwise, no socks tomorrow, so no going to work. <laughs> That was the joke, but it's not a joke anymore because I don't go to work. Uh, but anyways, I was watching her and I lost my coffee cup. I looked in the microwave. I looked over by the computer because I was by the computer earlier too. It wasn't there. I looked in the laundry room. It wasn't there. And I thought, where the heck did I leave that coffee cup? And I looked around the cupboards and I looked, I just looked. And then I thought, oh, maybe I left it upstairs. When I brought the clothes down, I didn't bring the cup down. So I went back upstairs, and sure enough, there it was. But it wasn't in the spot that it usually is. Usually it's on my nightstand, and I had it on my on my vanity or the dresser, whatever you call them. I guess it would be a dresser. Mm -hmm. What's a vanity? Yeah, a dresser. Vanity, is that a smaller yeah. makeup thing? I don't it's wear makeup, so I wouldn't have one of those. <laughs> Just a dresser. So I watched that, and then I watched Randy's ride. He went out to, to um, took his motorcycle out. There was still snow on the ground, but he really was getting antsy, and he wanted to go for a ride. We understand that itch to ride. That's why Jim uses his four-wheel, except right now he needs to buy the filter and the spark, spark plug. plug. And oil he, filter. An oil filter, because he <laughs> took them out, because he didn't know whether the other person that owned it before him had done anything with these and so he thought it would it'd be just a good idea to change them and put new ones in so that's that's um what he rides right now he w did we did take a ride when the pay the highway was that was my freezing ride the ride that <laughs> i've it was cold for me he's warmer his he has the heated hand grips and he says the engine puts off some heat and so the person in the back really is, it is colder for the person in the back. I have a heated seat, but the heated seat only warms your bottom. I did wear the chaps and I wore my heavy winter coat. Um, but we did take a ride. I forgot where I was going with that. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Randy's ride. Yeah, Randy, Randy took a ride, but he went to look for coffee. Can you believe the store didn't have any coffee? <laughs> you know, when I was in St. Padre Island, when Jim was sent to Texas a few years back, I went to St. Padre Island, and I didn't know where the store was. I didn't know where a little coffee shop was, but I knew where the beach was. So every day I would walk the beach, and I'd walk up some of these other streets and, and find my way back. I wouldn't go too far because I can get lost really easy. So I found my way to um, a little coffee shop. And I must have looked so desperate for that cup of coffee. They never even charged me. And it was on April 1st, and I thought it was an April Fool's joke. But it wasn't. They just didn't. They just said, no, it's on the house. <laughs> I must have really looked like I needed coffee. Then on my way back from that coffee shop, what do I pass? A grocery store. So now I knew where the grocery store was, so now I was able to buy some coffee. And I brought it back to the, we, we were in the company's condo. They have a condo down there, and it was really, it was nice, because it really cost us nothing. They paid for the flight down. They paid for us to, to be there, for Jim to work, of course. 
and they gave us the company's credit card so if we wanted to go out to eat we could go out to eat we only went out I think twice the rest of the time I kind of mm -hmm. cooked I figure we you don't want to take advantage of things that are free even though some people might have but it felt like that was a fair amount and it was one was a real fancy restaurant and one was just a luncheon place so and we did a lot of walking and I did a lot of walking and if I'd have been down there longer I'd have made some friends because every day I talked to somebody people jog down there a lot well the weather was lovely far better than up here we left here and it was like five degrees came back home and it's maybe 10 degrees we we real and the heater in the in the was that the trip that the heater died? Mm -hmm. Yes. When um <laughs> when we were coming back, as it gets colder and colder and colder, well we we got to the airport and when we were driving home, the heater had died in the in the blazer. So we had a nice cold ride home after being in that nice warm ocean air. We came home to cold, really cold. Well, I want to share with you today because I was talking with my sister and my husband was talking yesterday with one of his co-workers and we both had mentioned, I mentioned the sous vide cooker and he had mentioned the sous vide cooker and a lot of people had no idea what we were talking about. In fact, my sister didn't even know what I was talking about. So I got it out and I showed her the box. This is, this is what the sous vide I'll turn it this way so you can see. This is what the sous vide cooker looks like, this thing here. And it's got a dial on the top. And it and it tells you the temperature that you're at and the time. And the, the good part about using the sous vide cooker is um, it's a water bath is what it is. These pictures down here show the water bath where it's in the water. You can see. Um, and what it does is it you set the time as to how long you want it to cook. And when it's done... It never overcooks. You could just leave it. And the where I cook it, I cook it in, I have this old coffee pot. I, I just put water in here. I do plug it in. I plug in the plug because it helps warm the water up to the temperature that I want quicker. And I put the sous vide wand in it. And it's, here, give me the sous vide wand. This is the, the sous vide wand, and it's got a, a section on it that says that the, the, this is as high as the water should go, and this is the minimum amount for the water. So when you stick it in the, when I stick it in the coffee maker, and then fill the water, I can, it's, it's to a nice level so that it's not too high and it's not too low. And you don't need to vacuum pack your food. You can use, um, Ziploc bags to um, put the meat in because you want to put it in a sealed, it's in a plastic sealed um, container of plastic, a plastic bag or you vacuum seal if you have a vacuum sealer, which I do now. I didn't before, but I do now. Here you can have this. But if you vacuum, and if, if, you, if you use the baggie, you want to get as much yeah, air out. You as try you to get the air out because otherwise the bag floats. So what you do is you put the food into the bag submerge the bag in another little bit of water. You could put some water in your sink or something so that it kind of will force the air out and then you zip it shut. And then when you put it in here, it doesn't float. And if it floats, a lot of times I've actually used um, clips to clip the bag or I have taken the meat and I've flipped it over after halfway through. I will do that. But usually you get the air out and it will... Um, very nicely. Was there anything else I wanted to tell them? You can cook meats. You can you can, yeah, you can do, do meats, you can do desserts, you can do a custard, you can do cheesecake, you can do vegetables, you can do almost anything in there. And then the meat, what you do after it's cooked is you take it out and you want to you wanna color it up a little bit because it'll look blah. So you either throw it in a frying pan or you can use a torch if you want to. I don't use a torch. I just throw it in the frying pan and put a little a color grill. on. Huh? Or a grill. Or a grill. You could grill it if you want to. Um, but I just put it in the frying pan. You're the griller. I don't grill. <laughs> Are you kidding? If, if I'm going to grill, it'll be with the grill, the, the cast iron grill that you can put over top of burners. And it gives you the grill lines. But 
I otherwise I just use the frying pan and just put a little color on the meat so that it has a little color and the, you can do shrimp in it in fact my son did shrimp and he did sam, salmon for us when we were out to visit him and he did the shrimp and then he sauteed the shrimp a little bit in the on the frying pan with a little butter and herbs whatever he put seasoning whatever he put in it and it was really very good and the and the shrimp was not rubbery it was cooked perfect it doesn't overcook things which is nice so if you have that problem you can sous it and it works out perfect this is a small one there are bigger ones but this is perfect for us I think they're expensive but they're well worth they're it worth too. it yeah if you do this was a Christmas meat, gift especially. from my son he, he bought one for himself and he thought I should have one anything he has that he likes he thinks I should have that's why I have a uh, food saver too <laughs> That's he why has you have one. a single son. And that's why I have a single son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hasn't gotten married. I have a single daughter, too. And I have two married daughters. And I have um, seven grandchildren. There was another video uh, that I should make, and I won't do it today, but there was another one that I had um, a person asking me a lot of questions about what I did prior to working at the school. So maybe one of these videos I will share a day in my life or a years in my life or something in my life. Also, I wanted to mention too, what's mentioned in the in one of the videos was about my, my um, dishwasher. Somebody said they had one like it. You know, that dishwasher was 30 years old when we got it. It was one that his my husband's former boss, when he was working in the vineyards, decided that it had been fixed three times. It's time to just get rid of it. And it was 30 years old at that time. So Jim brought it home, tore it apart, put it back together, bought a, uh, just a hose, and the darn thing worked. Well, you never expect it to last very long. Well, it's almost 40 years, and it's still still working. We used it. Had I known. Years, we used it uh, Every day, every day, every day, a lot. Because I had the daycare and I was washing the dishes by hand and then putting it in there and sanitizing and washing them again. In fact, somebody even commented, you wash the dishes twice? And I go, yeah, I do, I guess. But had I known that it was going to last this long, I could have bought a new panel because the bottom of the panel is so rusty and falling apart. And now the door, actually, I put a bench underneath it because the door, it kind of... It will fall all the way to the floor, and it sounds like we're breaking it every time we open it or close it. So that's another thing that was mentioned. Well, that's it for today. I hope you had a great day, and I will talk to you all again when the sun shines, which I hope is tomorrow. Is the sun going to shine tomorrow? I think they said it's supposed to be hope so. partly sunny at least. I hope so, because we need some sunshine. We've had gloomy skies too often. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.